SharePoint server was only rated as important this month. Uh, we do, of course, see the usual three upgrades for subscription edition, server 2016 and SharePoint server 2019 as well. Um, three separate KB articles on those. You can go in and take a look at them if you want. There was one vulnerability, uh, 2024 uh, 30100. Uh, which was a remote code execution vulnerability. Again, it's not a exploited or publicly disclosed one. So again, only a single um, vulnerability addressed this month on SharePoint Server. We did see a few more updates on Office. Um, again, uh, Office 2016, the current uh, on-premise uh, standalone version that's supported, not the click-to-run version. Um, it was the the vulnerabilities were all related to Outlook, by the way. Um, you can go in and read about each one of those. I have them listed here, 300, 101, 103, and 104 in the case of um, Outlook 2016. Um, they are remote code execution vulnerabilities, and they can be exploited via the preview pane. They did call that out in the vulnerabilities themselves. However, these look like pretty complex vulnerabilities to exploit. Um, it says there's a lot of things that have to happen in order for a user to exploit these. So, um, But again, rated important. Uh, three vulnerabilities addressed, like I said, in the Office versions, in the SAS uh, click-to-run versions, which include Microsoft 365, Office 2019, and Office Long-Term Service Channel 2021. Uh, four vulnerabilities addressed. The additional one there is the 300-102, uh, shown on the list down below. Again, none of these are known exploited or publicly disclosed, hence the reason the update this month is only rated as important.